Hey everybody, welcome to lesson four in using lines. So now that you have some understanding of grid geometry and you can navigate the environment a bit more, make sure you have your instructor window open and you should be on the line tool. The first pencil looking tool is a straight line tool. So let me just move my mug out of the way here and suggest this to you that drawing a line in this environment can be really helpful but it's not the be all end all solution to let's say making shapes because there's actually a shapes tool for that that will save you a lot of time we'll cover that in the next lesson a line tool can be helpful though for subdividing shapes and drawing divisions of spaces and then you can erase everything on that side of it when you put your line here and just keep everything on this side of it um, and remember this, that when you draw a line, if I'm in the pencil tool and I left click and I start drawing a line over here, this line could be anywhere right now. It's an illusion that it's on the ground. It could be going out to the horizon, like two miles away. Unless you pay attention to how it locks into red. If it locks into a red color, that means it's parallel with or on the red axis the horizontal axis. If you come up here going vertically and it goes and it locks into blue on blue axis, it means it's parallel to the Y axis. Anywhere in between that, it could be anywhere. Um, so pay attention to those little helpful hints because it's not a smart program. It's only ever doing what you tell it to do. And, um, you know, if it's not glitching, that's the only thing it should be doing. So when you draw shapes or you draw lines or you perform certain functions, you can designate exactly how much you want it to do of that function, like drawing a line. Um, understanding that an apostrophe is feet and quotation marks is inches. You can let go of your line when you think you got it where you want it to be. I'm going to let go. It looks like it's on the X axis and down here, I'm not clicking in this window. I'm just showing you on the bottom right of your screen. It says length four apostrophe five and a half quotation mark. That means four feet, five and a half inches. Within about 10 seconds, you can still edit that simply by typing this in. If I wanted to make it 10 feet, I would type in 10 and you can see it live time changing in the bottom of your screen over there. 10 apostrophe enter. Now that line is 10 feet long. Cool. Try to draw another one up from there, up from the corner and put it up in the air and let go and type in right now it says six feet seven and three quarters that's not what i wanted and i wanted a uh, eight and a half feet long you can type that a couple of different ways but i like 8.5 apostrophe and you can see that showing up in the bottom right of your screen enter and it's eight and a half feet long so you can literally define exactly how far you want things to be and if i close up those lines together and they are all flat then you've used those edges to enclose an area. This area of this triangle is now a solid shape. Okay. This is pretty fun stuff um, because it gets way more interesting here um, when you learn how to use the shapes tool to do stuff and other functions to make these three dimensional. But that's a good starting point for lines. You could, you could, if you wanted to now take this line and any edge, it will help you find the midpoint there midpoint of this edge and you could draw that across to this corner and subdivide shapes you can find midpoints very easily once you have outside points or you could just randomly like draw some cool looking stuff in here and decide that oh i didn't really didn't want it all even and midpointy i wanted it uh kind of random and strange and wonderful and then you can take the eraser tool and put that little circle on there and erase two lines at once and do all sorts of fun stuff and make a bunch of funky shapes. Okay, that's the line tool. The next tutorial, I'll show you how to use the shapes tool. It gets really fun. See you then. Take care, stay healthy, stay engaged.